Hey everyone. One question that I get all the time is how can I leverage somebody's LinkedIn connections in order to get a warm intro? How can I scrape somebody's LinkedIn connections? How can I use this data that's on LinkedIn? I think I've come up with a way to use clay that gets you a step even better than LinkedIn connections in some ways. And you can do it at scale without putting your LinkedIn account at risk. And you would be able to map your entire market across this as well. And you could do it backwards, forwards, and, and all these things. This workflow is a little bit complicated. I'll be the first one to say that. So I'm going to go through this video uh, in a very structured way. First, we're going to talk about why we do it this way and what data does LinkedIn give us. So I'm going to go over the LinkedIn profile first. And then second, we're going to go over the workflow. And then third, we're going to get into how I would think about actually using this in a campaign. So let's jump in. Data in question here is oftentimes people ask me, how can I get these mutual connections to talk to Jordan? And the big reason is because if they're connected, they wanna have some warm intro way to get into you know, Jordan, get connected and, and talk, right? And so I personally think this is a bad idea on two levels. So if you wanted to look up one person at a time, and do this, which I don't think is a great use of your time, unless it's a really great account, you could open up a tool like Phantom Buster, use your LinkedIn cookie, which puts your LinkedIn account at risk, scrape these mutual connections, and then look through all of them. So the, the reason I don't like that method is because you'd be putting your LinkedIn account at risk and you really can't scale it without making LinkedIn extremely angry. And so the other reason I don't like this is because if you click on this, he has, we have 1300 mutual connections between the two of us. And so I, if I were to actually look at this, there's not a whole lot of people on this list that I actually feel comfortable going to for a connection or um, I'm not even sure if they actually know him. So I think maybe he knows Matt and maybe he knows Ben, but from this list, and I'm pretty good friends with Jordan, he knows Varun, may, maybe he knows Andre. But a lot of these people don't actually know him. He is just connected with them on LinkedIn. There, there's no actual connection here. And that's often the problem that I see when people do these kind of LinkedIn plays is none of these people actually know them and they can't actually help and, and get brought in. So now let's turn our eyes away from this section and look at the people also viewed section. This section I find to be really interesting because I think the LinkedIn algorithm is doing something here where there's a higher degree of knowledge between these people. Like I know Jordan knows Jesse for sure. I know he knows Justin. I know he knows this Justin. If we go in through this, I know he knows Scott. I know he knows this person. I know he knows this person. I know he knows this person. He knows this person. He knows this person, this person, this person, this person. I know that he has connections with all these people. The hit rate is so much higher. And if we even look at my account, If I look at my people also viewed, I know DK, I know Jasper, I know Florin, I know Yuri, I know Parsha, Pasha, I know Joel, I know Sumith, I know Scott, uh, I don't personally know Josh, but I know of Josh, Nick, I know, Kristen, I know, Jordan, of course, I know, Vibhav, I know, Alex, I know, Justin, I know, so you get my point, right? So I think this section is full of much better data for us. So how do we take action on this data? So now, if you're with me and you agree, hey, we should be taking action on this data, now I, I have a, a list of LinkedIn connections here that I enriched with Clay. One little known enrichment inside of Clay is this people also viewed section. This people also viewed section is the exact section that I just showed you as well. And it gives you the LinkedIn URL right here. So what we could do is we could enrich this LinkedIn profile. And then what we could do is we could write that to another table and see how there's 7,000 rows in here and I have 9,000 potential leads already to be working through, right? 9,000. And so now what we get is um, we have all of this data on these people. So this is Paul's people also viewed. And I'd be super interested to see if, you know, Paul or, or somebody, they actually know each other here. But so now what we would be able to do is I can now filter by title, I can filter by company name, I can enrich the experience here, and I can filter by industry, and I can filter by headcount. And then I can get a list of people that I actually want to be talking to and reach out to Paul, who's on my connections list, and say, hey, 
You know, do you actually know this person? And odds are much, much higher that they're actually going to know this person. And so another way that you can think about this is you could potentially use this to scrape your competitors, customers. Another way you could do this is you could, uh, so right now what we're doing is we're going from my connections and then we're finding leads within my connections. So we could flip this around and I could upload a prospecting list and I could upload my connections list. And then I could see out of all of the people on my prospecting list from there, people also viewed, are there any mm, duplicates? Like is anybody in my connections that's also on one of my prospects people also viewed? I can do a V lookup against that. And, and then that's my warm intro into that prospect there. And then I know that connection and I, I know how great of a relationship I have with them. So this is kind of my new, I'd call it like a play that you can run once a month or once every two months, once a quarter, but could potentially lead to some really, really interesting conversations because you're leveraging that, that mutual connection level. Um, but you're one, you're doing it at scale. So you don't have to put your LinkedIn account at risk. And then two, you, um, you're talking to people that in my belief from what I've seen and I have asked 10 people at this point and their people also viewed section is highly accurate as well. It's a much higher reason. You have much more reasonability that they actually know each other, or there's a higher probability that they know each other. Reasonability isn't even a word um, that you could be reaching out to with them. And so uh, take this for a spin. I think it's super interesting. Uh, if you've gotten to the end of this video, don't tell Clay, but uh, I know some of you might uh, say, hey, clay is too expensive to be able to do this. And for this one-off thing, it might be. I've got some other ideas. And so if you make it this far in the video, I can just DM me on LinkedIn um, and maybe follow up because I might be bad at getting back to you. Um, and there's some APIs that be able to help you out that um, kind of get off the clay platform. So yeah, let me know if you saw this.